Artists can get the strangest ideas. This man has built himself a mountain and has set himself the task of painting it. It's a lifetime's work for Leonard. Here in the California desert, people don't stop. They go straight on. There are only rattlesnakes and bald coyotes. The temperature's over 100 degrees. There's nothing. Nothing? Only one soul lives here. Leonard, the mountain painter, the desert preacher. This ex-car painter has been here alone with his mountain for 16 years. He started off intending to do eight or 10 feet, but since then, his hopes have been surpassed. Isolated from society in this corner of the desert, Leonard works like a slave to write and paint his faith, and he accepts only the essentials from the villagers. There's probably 80 to 100,000 gallons of paint that comes in, old paint that people give me. People want to give me paint. And you can see about 80 to 100 cans of paint over there. I can't keep up with it. Everybody in the whole valley is just bringing me paint. So Leonard tirelessly continues to paint. He works from 5 till 10 every morning, after which it's too hot. Using a mixture of clay and straw, which the Mexicans call Dumma, he transforms, molds, and sculpts this mountain, which didn't exist before he arrived. A coat of paint onto the fresh Dumma, and there you have it. Leonard stops once a day to go out. The village is six miles away. He goes to get some water for his mixture because there's neither water nor electricity near his mountain. He also goes to fill up on friendship with his pals. He's going to live to be 115. I gave him a youth yeah. <laughs> product the other day so he'd be young forever. I just don't want to stay on the mountain, say, for two months at a time without seeing anybody. So I like to come in and, and uh, just say hi to people. <laughs> The return journey is more difficult. The sun is already high and it's more than 110 degrees. In the distance is the Mexican border. Leonard deposits his treasure and goes to take refuge in his grotto, his chapel, and his refrigerator, as he calls it. Here, the temperature doesn't rise over 100 degrees. In the meantime, these engineless trucks and horseless gypsy trailers show how Leonard came here. Leonard is very happy when people give him a pretty red or blue paint. He says that he could paint without ever stopping. The paint he puts on the Dhamma can stand years of being exposed to the elements. But that's not enough for Leonard. He wants his masterpiece to stay bright. He not only made and painted these steps, but he has also repainted them several times. It fades a lot. The summer sun fades it. The more it fades, the more I paint it, and the thicker it gets, and the better it gets looking. So I plan on just doing that over and over, and maybe get eight or ten coats on it, and it'll stay for uh, until it fades. This is his life now, and he would never change it. That's the end of the day for me, and uh, I appreciate you coming by. God bless you a lot. Boy, that first step's a big one, isn't it?